Welcome back. I hope you are doing well. Today I have got you another top 10 jailbreak tweaks and they are compatible with iOS 13 to 13.4.1. And now let's go to the first one. So if you take a look on the notch, you can see it is completely high. So if you go into the app, so for example, I can go to the app store and then when I scroll, you can see here the notch is high. So what it tweaks does, it just completely hide the notch and you can color on the top as well. So if you go back to settings and then go to edge notch and then you can see here we can select the notch color. So if you go to black, it's gonna hide. But if you go to the other color, you're gonna see it. So let's go to this one. And then I can go to status bar text. So you can change the status bar color as well. I'm gonna leave it as default. And now I can apply change. After the spring, you can take a look on the top here. So we got a new color right here. And it does apply to both lock screen and home screen. Now move on to the other one. And I think the tweak is very useful. So if you go to settings, and you can see on the top, we have the battery widgets and we have Wi-Fi right here. So the tweaks will add those widgets to the top. And if I click on battery, it will bring me straight away to battery right here. So I can view my battery health much quicker. Or when I click on Wi-Fi, it's gonna go to Wi-Fi as you can see here. These widgets we can change as well. You can go to, you can go to settings widgets and you have multiple widgets right here so we have widgets 1 you can select on storage and widget 2 you can select um, battery health and storage as well so it is similar but we have two widgets so let's go to battery health on the second widgets and then you can click on apply and you can see we jump back to home screen now we can launch setting again you can see here we have storage on the top when i click on it it will bring me straight away to iPhone storage. Dark Edge will add the shortcut into your keyboard. So if you invoke the keyboard, you can see at the bottom right here. So we have some shortcuts button. This is the button that you can select all text. So if you click on it, you can see the text is selected. And I can copy or I can paste. And I can select again or I can cut. And you can see and then I can paste. And for this button, we can click to go back. As you can see, or I can just um, get it again. For this shortcut, you can replace as well. So if you go back to settings and then go to dark edge and then you can manage shortcut right here. So you're gonna see some of the button right here where you can um, just where you can just um, remove the other and you can add that new button. So you can add um, uppercase, you can add lowercase. For those of you that want to have the iPhone SE wallpaper in 2020, it is very simple. You just um, install that tweak and then you can go to settings. And then you're gonna go to wallpaper and you can choose a new wallpaper right here. You can go to still. And if you scroll down, you can see all of the iPhone SE wallpapers I injected into settings. So it is much more um, easier for you to get those wallpaper. One more thing, it is also a wallpaper as well. So if you go to wallpaper and choose a new wallpaper, and then you go to stills, and if you scroll down a bit, you're gonna see here, we have the transition wallpaper, and you can see. So it is depend on dark mode as well. So if you disable dark mode, it's gonna select the um, light mode wallpaper, and you can see. Move on to the other one. And I have got a new beautiful widgets, so I think you should get it. And make sure you have seen HTML installed on your device. And now we can go to lock screen. And for these widgets, it does support on both lock screen and home screen. But for me, I'm gonna choose on lock screen. And then we can go to um, background widgets and click on every widgets. And you need to find notch square right here. So select on it. And you can see we have a very beautiful widget. If the language is in Vietnamese, you can go back to settings and then go to the HTML, select on that widget and click on the setting icon. You're gonna change the language right here. So you can type EN and then you can just save and click on check. And I'll go back to lock screen and you're gonna see here we have an English version right now. Usually when you play the music or video from YouTube, when you adjust the volume, it's gonna use um, its own style, so its own style volume. 
But after you install it, it's gonna replace back with the stock volume from Apple. So as you can see here, while I am playing the video on YouTube, when I um, adjust the volume, it's gonna use the stock volume right here. Let's jump into the next one. And this is a very tiny tweak. So it just um, add the add key into your keyboard. So if you invoke the keyboard, you can see right here. So we have the add key on the top of the keyboard. You don't need to change it to the number in order to use the add key. So you just um, use it straight away from the top here. Photo information allow you to see some information from your photo. And as you can see, when I go to the photo or video in my photo app, and I can see the resolution and the size as well. Move on to the last one. Remove 3D options allow you to remove some option from 3D type menu. So it's gonna high delete, high share, and high rearrange. And all you have to do is enable all of these options. And then you can see when I force touch on some app, as you can see there is no delete button. Finally, thanks for watching. I hope you like all of these tweaks. And then I will catch you guys in the next one.